Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part, part two of vectorizing this JPEG. And if you haven't watched the first one, you want might want to watch it. But what we need to do is get rid of some of this stuff. And what we're going to do is take this, it's broken apart. I've still got my nudge factor set on three inches. We need the interior of his, of his letters, and we need the tomahawk. Now, we're going to encompass all this, lasso all this, and we're going to turn it all black because we want it black. And as you can see, the text didn't, um, just didn't work very well. So, before we move that text over, we're going to redraw that text or retype that text. We're going to set our nudge factor on, or not our nudge, we're going to set it on, let's go with 10 and a half and see what it looks like. All capital letters. Okay, that looks pretty close. We're going to bold it. I think that's dead on. And if you're doing this, I think she's doing this for like a grandfather. And I think the text is right on. Now, take this text and put it right on top of your other text. And I'm going to show you why. Now, it's a little bit, it's a little bit big. Let's go with... 11 and now let's let's stretch it out that looks a little closer and the reason we're doing this right here is now you can take the same text you are clicked on it and use the right arrow key and put it right into your design right where it needs to be now we can delete all this we're almost done, folks. All we have to do is these upper parts. Now, what I always do, and it's always a good idea to go Control D and make a duplicate of this in case you mess up. Now, take this and go left click, right click, and you'll get these the outline of these letters. And we need to go up here and go break, curve apart. Now, we can... Before we get rid of these letters, we need to retype that. So I'm going to get that same size, Control D. I'm going to go put it up top. I'm going to go Edit. And we need to move this over so I can see. Tell you what, move it down a little closer. Let's move it right here where I can read what I need to type. Just delete all this and go... Hand C R A F T E D N P O P P O P apostrophe S workshop. Hit OK. We're going to make it bold. Now we need the established. 2015 I want to copy that just so we'll have the same size text on all of them I'm gonna to have to move this out of the way EST dot 2015 and you can make it bold right now but it's always easier to just go right here and make it bold all right we're done now we've got our text apart we're gonna delete this outline of this tech and see I grabbed the circle that time as long as you don't grab the whole circle you can delete what's inside the lasso so I'm just lassoing and hitting the delete key go up here and hit and we're leaving these lines right now we're probably really doing them, but we're gonna leave them right now now I would always do your long line first just in case it doesn't fit, you could go back and change your links. And it would be really a lot easier to put a center line right down the middle, but we're not going to do that. And it doesn't really not necessary. So to go to text, fit text to path. And see, we're a little long. Um, we're a lot long. So let's just reverse, back up, and let's make this. 10 points 
Then at the same time, make this 10 points. So all your text will be the same. We could actually leave that 11 points for right now. It might even look better. Go text to path. That looks a lot better. And you can put it like right there. Now it might not be perfectly centered between the lines, but as long as you click on it, you can go right here and go minutely down. We need to go a little bit higher. Um, and you could actually, let's see how high it's, it's, it's jumping a lot at a time. So let's go, uh, the distance there is pretty close. We need to go, the, that's 11. So let's go 2.2. That looks pretty good. Now let's get this. Fit text to path. Put it at the bottom. That's good enough for right now. Let's zoom in. We're going to mirror it both directions. Now you can literally just take this down and put it right in the center. Now, really what I call the fun part, let's take our, our text and go and break it apart. Take our text and go no feel red hairline. No feel red hairline. Now what happens when you fill in your black Okay, right here I had specified in the fill option three points. I want none. That looks really good. But I'm not real happy with the lines. The lines aren't perfect. So I'm going to pause the video and we're going to go from here with the next one, creating this a little bit more. And it'll just be a little short video. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.